Hi everybody and welcome to this week's LEGO Technic video. Uh, what I'm going to be presenting today is a gearbox that can generate eight different speeds using just two levers like this. Um, now the idea of this gearbox came about from someone on the Eurobricks forum called Snipe and he asked my help with a particular gearbox design that he had. Um, and the idea for that design was the fact that if you normally, say for example, create a four speed gearbox, you'd have two levers like this and underneath you'd have your selectors and each selector can select one of two different speeds uh, speed one and speed two and then there's a sort of a neutral position in between and same with this lever so we be able to select four different uh, combinations two on each side so two times two is four but uh, what was brilliant about Snipe's idea was that he realized that in fact with two levers because they've got a central position as well you can in fact make eight or nine different combinations, in fact nine combinations, so you can have that one up, this one in the middle, up, down in the middle, so that's three, and then you've got four, five, six, and then seven, eight, nine, which is just three times three. So when Snipe asked me to help with this problem, I thought, yes, uh, I understand you can make nine different combinations, that's fine, but obviously five of them, uh, one of the gears is disengaged, that's not going to help with the output, the output's going to be neutral, and it's not possible to create obviously eight speeds with two levers because like I said if it's disengaged uh, it's not going to go anywhere. However when I was designing my uh, two speed uh, automatic gearbox that I presented last week uh, I ended up using a mechanism that only allows an output to go in one direction. Uh, so for example here with this particular differential gearing mechanism we can rotate the yellow axle fine and that will rotate uh, the red axle output. However, we can't rotate the red and reverse the whole mechanism. So it's only a one directional mechanism. I can make motion go in that direction, but I can't make it go in reverse. And that's the idea that I used in this particular gearbox design. Uh, but instead of using this differential mechanism, um, there's actually a very similar mechanism that's a lot simpler that you can use, and that's the worm gear. So this is actually a very uh, similar mechanism, it has the same properties. So in this case, I can rotate uh, the yellow axle and uh, that will cause the red axle to have the output. However, uh, I can't rotate the red simply because of the, the structure of a worming uh, mechanism. Uh, and that has, uh, has, essentially has the same properties as this design, so it allows direction to go in one direction but not the other. So by combining the worm gear with a selector, what we can do is in fact create three different speeds. So on over here we've got our selector that selects between speed 1 and speed 2. Uh, this is our input and our outputs at the top and by selecting for example speed 1 we've got the speed 1 at the output we can select speed 2 and that gives us a different speed through the different gearing ratio then in the middle in fact we've got the third speed which is just simply speed 0 and the structure of the uh, worm gear prevents that from being rotated backwards so that means it's held steady and the idea that I end up doing for the gearbox is to combine two of these and what that means is I can uh, combine two and then add them using a differential and I can then create a table like this where I have got my first uh, gear selector using that worm gear and that selects between speed 1, 2 and 0 and then I've got a second one which selects between speed 3, 0 and 6 and these are all relative speeds so the, you know, they're all relative to speed 1 so for example this is twice as fast as that one, that one's three times as fast as that one, and that one is six times as fast. And by using the differential to add those two inputs together, or those two outputs together from these two uh, lever selectors, what that means is in fact we can create this speed table where if they're both in neutral, zero, zero, then when they add, add up of course you know with speed zero. However when one's in speed, uh, for example speed zero, we can have speed one through this selector, then speed two, then by placing this uh, lever back in 0 and that one in 3 we can create speed 3 and that all the way along we can create 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 and 8. So that pretty much gives us our 8 speeds using the two different levers. Alright so that was the theory, let's see how it works in practice. So here's the actual design of the gearbox using that technique that I've just described. So we've got our two levers over here. Uh, underneath I've got all the gearing to generate the um, different speeds so for example we've got speed 1 and speed 2 and then we've got 3 and 6 on this side uh, those speeds then get fed through uh, the worm gears as described before which then add together through the differential to give us our overall output 
So if I turn that on, we can see that, of course, when the levers are neutral, we've got no output, and that can't be rotated. However, um, this will be speed one, so now we can see the slow rotation at the output. Uh, this will give us speed two, which is twice as fast. Uh, this here is speed three. And then we can add on speed one to give us four. Add on two to give us five. Go back to neutral, go to six, and then seven, and finally eight. So that's our eight speed gearbox plus neutral just using two levers. Uh, thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed the video and got something out of it. Uh, if you want to support this channel, please like and subscribe. We'll uh, see you next time.